mama, so I'll have to keep walking around this. If you are a sugar mama, help me retire, so I'll have to walk around the pond every Tuesday. No, I'm just joking. Um, not really, but a couple of action items, guys. What's going on, Alex? What, what do we have here? It feels like I haven't been doing IG Live for like forever, but it's only been a week. It's so crazy. We are building Sugar Mamas at MIC. Faye is one of them. I think Faye is doing better than most of us nowadays. We are now borrowing money from Faye to, uh, to do the marketing. So thanks, Faye. Faye now owns a bunch of dilutive shares. You can find on BAM SEC. Look up at filings. I think we have a S3 coming out with Faye. So yesterday, yeah, we, we announced the, um, the map. What a map is, is a member appreciation program. So we started this, oh my God, when MIC was born. And so when MIC was born, we you know we the whole idea about MIC is community-based, right? Members helping members. So it's not just me and Alex and Tosh and whoever else like pumping alerts and stuff like that. The whole intent is to have a community where one we where we help one another become a self-sufficient trader. And, and so part of that, we want to recognize members who are you know, we just want to recognize members and say thank you. Just because you have not been nominated doesn't mean that we don't see that. You may be nominated next next time. So this is all based upon peers nominating you and stuff. So, you know, we had a bunch of people, like 20-something. So this is our seventh seven, guys. That's how consistent we are. So our whole MIC, the way we trade, the way we do IG Lives has been very consistent. Seven. So every around every quarter or so, we, we do this map. Even with So we did like a few this... We did two this year already and during COVID too, right? So this is our seventh, guys, seven. So this very cool shirt, guys, has a MIC and has your name on it and stuff. So the guys in the room know, but anyways. So that that's what we did yesterday, so, we, so thank you. And I mean, it's cool, man. There's an after hours channel. That's where most of, that's where most of these nominations come from because members helping members in the after hours channel. 24 hours, people get bored. They want to socialize, meet friends, and, and learn 24 hours a day. So, so learning doesn't stop when the market ends. Learning doesn't stop when Alex and Bao leaves the chat room. There are freaking 1,600 members plus. You know, they're around. So meet, make friends, part of the TAB program, things like that. So first of all, is JJ here? I want to know if JJ's here, but I'm going to start the IG Live, guys. So I guess everyone is here. So who who's here was uh, got the map this this year? Just just type in MAP. I'm MAP. <laughs> Not to be confused with WAP. <laughs> That's a totally different chat room, guys. This is the MAP, not the WAP. <laughs> if you don't know what a WAP is, good. You should not Google that shit. <laughs> there we go. Hey, how old are you, Aiden? Aiden Garcia. I think he's still in high school. I think he's the youngest map recipient. How amazing is that, man? You know, if you turn the W, if the M turns upside down, that's a WAP. <laughs> and I'm, I'm dyslexic, so right? Anyways, so that's pretty cool, guys. I mean, so I appreciate everybody that's helping. So, I mean, they show up, I mean, religiously to help other members. So, thank you, guys. All right, so, dude, I'm so happy just walking around. And Alex has been, you know, maybe we should do every other week. You know, people starting to appreciate more that we, you know, have these less often because when we, we give away so much stuff, guys, people stop to appreciate. So, part of that I want to do real quick. Okay, I'm, I'm going to do this real quick because I want to save time for JJ. I hope he's around. Uh, if you see JJ, let me know. But I'm going to jump right into it to make it quick so that there's more. Uh, time for his segment what I want to talk about today is this how to become a consistently profitable trader everybody starts out being inconsistent so this is a usual progression of a day trader they start out a lot of times there's two types of traders that start out one just loses straight from the beginning there's just no hope for them right there's just no hope either because they're gambling whatever and then there's the other side and this is the more dangerous guy the more dangerous type of person is someone that has early success. 
So that they think they know everything. They just started trading, also they started making money. You know? It's just like playing poker. You you can you can be a fish, chase everything and get lucky on the river and beat professional poker players. Does that mean that you are a good player? You may have won that, that game, but over time you would have lost all your money back to the professional trader. But if you have early success in whatever you do, you may start to think that you are good, that you don't need training, that you know everything about trading, about poker, about anything you do. Those are the most dangerous type of people for yourself because what's going to happen is this. You're, ne- you're not going to admit that you don't know about the topic you're doing because you had early success. So you go in there and you're like, dude, I'm a good trader, man. Look at this. So I have arguments online. Oh, I, I, I just started trading, but look, look at my results. Dude, I doubled my fucking account in a week. Oh, good for you. I mean, you got fucking lucky. I don't care what it is. But over time, if you don't know what you're doing, you're going to bleed back that. But then what happens is this. They get, eventually they'll bleed it back. I, I mean, that's just a fact, okay? Eventually, they'll bleed it back. Because unless you learn risk management and all these things, you will slowly bleed it back. And it becomes very dangerous. Then you start putting more money into the market. Pretty soon, you leverage your house, whatever the hell you may be, right? And so we don't want you to become that kind of trader. And I'm going to tell you the secret. One of the secrets to become a consistently profitable trader from being inconsistent is being humble. Being humble enables you to listen, to realize that you don't know as much as you think you know. To be honest, the more I learn about any topic, the less I know. Because every time I learn something, it poses new questions. And then I'm like, dude, I got to go figure it out. So pretty soon you have like a spider web. You know, one question leads to when one answer sorry one answer leads to five different questions because when you just start trading you really do know what you do not know what you do not know you don't know what to ask for right and so the secret to be starting with is to humble yourself because if you open your mind I'm still learning every day guys I I mean I I didn't want to fucking leave today Alex and Tosh was like get the fuck off of the screen bow go do your IG live Cause I was up today, I was up nice today, and I was like, dude, I'm not done trading, the stock is, you know, I'm done trading when I'm, I'm either, the, the market ends, or I lose all my money, right? That's that's a lot of the trader's mentality, right? I'm like, I'm up, I'm up so much, whatever, I have cushion, I'm gonna keep on trading. Either, either to triple my money, cause it's never satisfying. You triple your money, you want to quadruple your money. And so, some at some point, you will bleed back all your money. That's called over trading. And it happens to everybody, including me. When I'm up, the most dangerous time is when I'm up too much, too quickly. Like the market just opens. Within five minutes, I'm up 8,000. Whatever the hell it may be, right? And I'm like, dude, what the hell? So then you stick around, you stick around, and then you start bl- slowly bleeding it all back. So the step is this. So they, they, people used to say, take what the market gives you. The reality is take what your process gives you. So MIC was the first to start talking about process. People laughed about process, all that. We 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 basically talk process. Our I mean, every time we take on this process, process, and now everyone is doing process. The reason why you need process is this: you need a repeatable system that you can walk in to the day day trading market and pull out money on a consistent level. Because what happens is this, man. A lot of people treat day trading as gambling, and so that that is the flaw to begin with. When I when I first started trading, I thought. It was random. Everything was gambling, and I was just purely gambling. That, and that's why a lot of these new traders they double their account really quickly because they go all in. They, they, you know, sometimes like you know, we, smart traders, smart. We sell way too early because I'm like shit. I know too much. I know there's a fucking filing out there with 50 million ATM at the market selling right dilution. I know that dude. This is a huge resistance. I'm like dude. I'm not gonna hold to day three. But then a lot of these guys, they don't know, so they hold like for a week. They hold down 50%, they're down 50%, and then all of a sudden they wake up, and then boom, news comes out, and they're spelled, and like, dude, I'm hella good, you know? So, making money, guys, one-off money, does not mean you're a good trader. Because, you know what, man, you can walk into the casino, put all your money on a hand of blackjack, hit on a 18, you have an 18, 
and you hit a three and you think you're good. Whereas the book says to stay at 18. You know, I see some people do crazy stuff. Like they have a, they have a freaking six and they double up, double down. And I'm like, you have a six, bro. And they win because the dealer busts. <laughs> and so the next card they draw is like a three. So they have like nine. And the dealer busts. And they're like, dude, they want a lot of money. Does that mean they're good? No. So, so the key is to have a repeatable uh, process, guys. And and how do you do that? That that is what is the the um, the key here. Okay. The first is to recognize that. It's not random. Trading is not random. It was random. Alex and I would not be making money every day. Knock on wood. I don't want to jinx myself, but fuck. It's been a while since we had a red day, right? But, uh, knock on wood. I don't want to say shit. Um, sorry. <laughs> but it's true. It's not random. It's not random. You know, if you have a repeatable process, you go in, you make money, you leave. It's such as, i give you an example. If, if, if you only bet when you have 20 on blackjack showing, it's very rare you lose. Of course, the blackjack dealer the, will get blackjack and get 21, you lose. But what's the odds of that, right? You have a 90% chance of winning. And so of course you have the outliers. Days that you you lose. It's just a fact of life. But the difference is this, risk management. I know that I can get beat. 20 can get beat with 21. And it happens all the time. How many times do you have a 20 on a blackjack table? The deal flips out 21, you're like, oh my God, what the hell? You know, and imagine you're all in. So you, imagine if you work for an entire month a year building your account slowly trading the, the correct way and then you decide what the hell man i'm i'm stupid i should have went in every time because it worked every time i've been training for a freaking six months and i've been making money why am i so chicken and not going all in every time because you know what that one time that you that the one time you get greedy murphy's law right that's the one time you lose all your money they call that a black swan in trading but a black swan happens all the time. I'm walking around the pond, I see black swans every day. This is November, you see black swans all the time. APVO, dude, it went from like 18 to $80. You turn around, you go to the bathroom, you come back, dude, you've been APVO'd. You know, you get screwed. And you imagine if, you, if you're in one of those situations where you have no risk control and you make money every freaking day, you can say what the hell you want to say. All it takes is one to kill you. Same thing with wearing a seatbelt, guys. Wearing a seatbelt, I, I don't want to jinx it, but how many times have you guys crashed? Not what not often, right? But when you that one time you do crash, that seatbelt, that airbag will save your life. And that's all we're saying about risk management, okay? So the so the couple of things, okay. First of all, is humble yourself, create a repeatable process based around risk management. More importantly is this. More importantly is this, guys. When you start trading, you really don't know what to study. You think when I started trading, I my my charts were filled with a ton of indicators, all sorts of crazy ass indicators. I think it would be the holy grail. Like, oh my god, dude! I just learned this new indicator. It's gonna make me a hell of money. Nowadays, my chart is very basic. Okay, I do the same thing every day. It's pretty much fucking routinely boring. Today was kind of boring because it's like, dude, it's the same shit. Like, Alex's watch list, C bat, boom, nine fifty line, scale in, boom, scale out, down to eight seventy, boom, done. You know, you saw my chart, the same boring stuff every single day. But you know what? That's that's work, right? To make money, you don't want to be exciting. And so, what strategies should we you learn? So you can learn on your own, guys. And this is where the stupidity comes in. Because Alex and I, we, we all did the same thing. We started, it took us years learning on our own. Figure about what works, what doesn't work, and we're losing hell of money. You know, time and frustration. So, that's why we're holding these IG lives all the time, guys. So that you don't have to see that. You, you you see that this shit works. Why the hell are you trying all this stupid crap? You know? It's up to you. If you want to save $200 and then lose $20,000 in the three years of your life. So the secret is this. To turn from an inconsistent to a consistent is to get mentored. It's, it's simple as that. If you want to learn any profession in life, what, what makes you think it's different from trading? If I want to become a doctor... You think I'm going to go and operate randomly on strangers until I figure out how, where the heart is? No, I'm reading books, but more importantly, I'm getting mentored by a doctor because there's only so much you can read on Google and Wikipedia. So I don't understand why people are doing this shit on their own. The best, the, the secret, the shortcut to success, if there is any shortcut, okay, there's no shortcuts to life, but if you had to have a shortcut, it is mentorship. Mentorship 
is the shortcut to success, guys. That's the only way out. Because what happens is this, this is this is experience. What you're paying for is not necessary education. You're paying for knowledge, wisdom, and experience from someone who's been there. Okay, so so the moment, so if JJ's here, I'm gonna bring him on because this this is a very good segue. I'll give you another example today. Man, we I was up like over seven thousand within like thirty minutes, right? So I'm sitting there, fuck. I'm like. I, I'm straight up horny for a play, guys. I was just so much like, shit, dude. Because I know I gotta end this at 10:30 because Alex kicked my butt. And so sometimes I get too eager, and then I start losing money back. So I'm entering stuff and just you know, because I'm like, dude, I, I don't care about up 7,000. You know, it, it's just uh, the thrill of it sometimes, you know, for some people, right? And so that gets very dangerous. And so having a tab—that's another secret. Having a trading accountability buddy helps you because Alex is snapping me. Shut up, out. Get out, you know. So he told me yesterday about I'm 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 not gonna fucking let you do this st- stupid stuff again, you know. So having that kind of discipline by your peer, call it tab, helps tremendously. Okay, and so if I follow the process, guys, I'm not joking. If I follow the process, I am rarely down, ever, ever, rarely down, because the process keeps me. Because the process works. The process is based upon proven winning strategies. How do you know what a winning strategy is? You wouldn't, unless a mentor told you that this shit works, because he's been doing it for 10 years. And he has a track record to prove it. I hardly ever lose. Alex, look at Alex and I, we hardly ever lose. The only time we lose is when days are slow and we're like so bored, we're trying to force a trade. Every time we try to deviate and force something, we lose. Boredom is the main reason, boredom and greed is the main reason I lose. If I follow the process, I hardly ever lose. And if I lose, it's very small. Because I stop out, I have risk management. I post that in the room all the time. So I'm telling you, man, the secret, guys, to being a consistently profitable trader is to get mentored and work as a team. Why do you think Wall Street trades in a trading pit? They're not guys at home. The guys in Goldman Sachs are all in the fucking pit together. They're screaming out. They're helping each other, right? And you don't have to have more than one tab like Tom says, right? You can have multiple tab groups. Because each person is going to contribute a better thing. I'll give you, for example, I'm a great technician. Meaning, I'm a very technical guy. My entries are fucking spot on. The problem I have is, I might be a pussy. <laughs> I cover too soon. So maybe a goal, maybe a strength from another tab is say, hey man, you know what? Just let it go, Contr- you Mr. Control Freak. It's okay. It's okay. Or filings. I'm not very good at filing. So other people are good at filings. Alex is better than I am. So he tells me, hey, this thing has possible dilution. You know, so you have a tab group that can make up for your deficiencies. And this is huge. I'm telling you, this is huge. Because you know what? One human being cannot learn everything in life. Because I, I, you know, your personality is very important. I, I'm, the, I'm, a, I'm a mathematician. I, dude, my, you see my entries are fucking spot on. I, I've all these years, I lack filings. That's why I take my money off quickly. Because I really don't understand the filings up until this year. You know? Because I don't need to. I'm making too much money with just being technical. But imagine if I understood that, how much more I can make. So you're always constantly learning, guys. And so I'm going to let uh, JJ, here, raise your hand, JJ. I'm going to put you in because JJ is a very, JJ is like all of us. We've been there. I've seen JJ struggle from the beginning just like I struggled. And then one day, I'm like, I turn around, and he's like, holy crap. He is so disciplined, adheres to the system, process. I'm, I'm like, I'm looking over, he's like making more money than us. Right? <laughs> Some days he's like making so much more money than us. I'm like, how the fuck you do it? And so here we go, Mr. JJ, you're gonna introduce yourself, let's see. Go live. This is the first time I talked to him, by the way. And I think I've seen him for years on Twitter. Waiting for JJ Go Seven. Just trying. <laughs> Mr. JJ. Hey, how you doing, Bow? Can you hear me? I can hear you, but I can't see you. I'll see you as your forehead. <laughs> All right. Sorry, guy. No you problem. know I was. There we uh... go. Okay, let me let me let me try something else here. There we go. Hey, man, I've that? seen you rap for years. This is the first time we ever spoke. Yeah, well, you know, we go way back, Bao, and uh, 
I remember you in one of the old chat rooms and gosh, when you, and you rarely did this, but when you would pop up with, with something to say in the chat room, I was like, oh my gosh, what's Bao telling us, you know? And I, and I think it was from that very point in time. And I think that might've been like 10 or 12 years ago that uh, I began to follow you. And then shortly thereafter, you came out with Momo Traders. Oh, the and, book, yeah. Uh, I was on, I got one of the first books by, uh, by you guys. And so it's been a, been a, a nice journey so far. Long journey. So start off by introducing you, saying your name, uh, where you live and all that good stuff, my friend. Okay. So, Hey, I'm James Garcia and uh, I live in Marina, California, which, uh, I'm about 70 minutes, uh, South of San Jose, 80 minutes or 90 minutes rather, uh, South of San Francisco. So, you know, this is, uh, I'm right on the ocean. I love it. And, uh, I grew up in Monterey, which is near Pebble Beach, Carmel, and those areas. So, um, love nature, that sort of thing. And, you know, been here ever since. So how'd you get into training? How long have you been doing this? And tell us your, your journey, because I, I love this story, man. Oh, my gosh, Bob. It's, it's a long story, but um, I laugh when you post those photos of your old uh, uh, trading platforms, which were the gigantic computers with the gigantic monitors. And the I CRTs. used to do the same thing. <laughs> I know, right? And, and I used to do the same thing uh, when I was about 25 years old. And I remember the dial-up. That used to make me nervous as heck because you'd, you'd get on and you'd try to place an order. Gosh, it would take forever to go through. And most of the time was spent on the phone trying to talk to the broker because <laughs> the computers it was just weren't dialed in enough. <laughs> people, people did not realize it was in fractions. We were trading in fractions. Right, right. And so it from that point, yeah. And so from that point, uh, you know, I would, I would, I was just dabbling at that point. But uh, I, I got into mutual funds. I've been into. Uh, bonds i've done oh don't 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 hate me alex i've done forex um and um, <laughs> you tried it all i I've, I've tried to just see you know what's out there and uh i've been in gosh i don't know how many chat rooms uh and learned absolutely nothing well i did learn something that uh i know what it feels like to be a sheep <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that, that's the thing. So, I mean, everybody goes through that. I, I was a sheep too, man. I go, I, the first chat room I remember I joined in, the moderator, I was like, I thought this guy was like a fucking billionaire. Everything he did, I started just like fucking. And so when I started trading, I thought that I was losing because I was too slow. And, and I made it a point to be the fastest guy to chase him. So I wanted to be the fastest sheep. <laughs> right, right. And, you know, and the, the one thing that I did figure out after a while was that uh, – I was always getting information after the fact in these chat rooms. I finally figured that out. It's like, wait a minute, this guy's on the microphone or whatever he's doing in this other chat room. And he's saying, okay, so how'd that feel guys? Huh? You make any money? And it was like, what? <laughs> I'm still in this thing and I'm down 500 bucks. What are you talking about? <laughs> and, and they're always like, do not follow me. This is education only. <laughs> right. And then that's when they, they, they throw the, uh, high high dollar education program at you and um it was basically worthless material because you know i'll just as an example and i i, I don't i don't want to offend anybody but i was taught an a b c d pattern <laughs> and the thing is with an a b c d pattern that's after the stock has already done what it's going to do it's yes. like the, the abc it's, is in hindsight. like Right. The ABCD, if you get, if you last that long and then you figure out to get into the trade, it's over. <laughs> it's like, what, what, which point is the A and the B and the C? <laughs> right. I got, D, right. I, got, I got Dick. That's the only thing I know. I, I got the D at the end. I got Dick, you know? <laughs> right. Right. So, um, you know, with that, um, I went, I went it alone for a long time, trading by, trading by myself, trading alone. Um, I actually have read quite a few prospectus, uh, manuals on mutual funds. And that's kind of what got me going on individual stocks. 
and I'll, I'll just go back real quick. And then one day one came in the mail and I, I'm opening this thing up and I'm just kind of thumbing through it. And it says, uh, for this, for this particular mutual fund, it said, uh, Coca-Cola, American airlines, Apple, Google. And I go, Oh, that's what these, well, these must be good things to invest in. Right. So then I start trading large caps. Right. And um, it went good for a while. And then I got smart with myself and thought, hey, I'm going to get into earnings plays. So I'm going to start playing <laughs> ER, ER plays, right? And Amazon blew me up one day. I, I thought I knew what I was doing, and I had not a clue. Because I didn't understand fundamentals at that point in time. And You were gambling. You were straight gambling. Yeah, absolutely. And the thing is, is that I thought, well, you know, Amazon, it's Amazon, right? Whoa, right. And they had had a bad quarter. And man, I just watched a lot of money go like down to very little. And I, I was like a dog with his tail between his legs. And uh, I backed off. And then shortly thereafter, um, Bao following you, and then I noticed that uh, on Twitter, Alex and you guys were buddies. And uh, it's funny what Twitter does uh, for a lot of folks. I don't recommend it for trading per se, like trading uh, tips or advice. But um, if there are people that uh, you want to follow, like Bao, and I, I, I really wanted to get to know Bao, uh, I did that and I, I just laid back and I just, every now and then he throws something out there and I just kind of look at it. And uh, pretty soon I thought, this guy knows what he's doing. And uh, in 2018, believe it or not, I was one of the first uh, signups for MIC. And guys, I, uh, I'm, a, I'm a little bit older than probably most of you. And uh, so I had to go to the doctor or the hospital and get a couple of surgeries. So I had to back off and come back into MIC. And then I had to go back for another surgery, back off. But now I'm back and uh, I rejoined. Uh, I got my annual membership. And um, I am uh, so. So you started to dedicate yourself six months ago. Oh no, much longer oh, than that. that. Since since, two, since 2018. Um, okay, so you were following MIC, but back in uh, uh, in March, when I was able to get back into MIC, uh, was when I really, really, uh, you know, uh, started studying heavily. That, that's why I meant. So so you went through your health stuff because I always say. If you have issues outside of trading, trading becomes much more chaotic. So, you know, so I'm glad that you figured out your your health issues. And then now you jumped way back in on March, right? All in and started studying. Right. And, and some of the things, though, that uh, MIC taught me, uh, one of Joe Kelly's, uh, um, I don't know if it was a YouTube or uh, just a video that he made for uh, MIC was that he used to just tell you, take what the freaking market gives you, man. And that's what you have to do when you're under PDT. You can't be selective between $100 and $140. When you're up on the trade, you got to get out and be thankful for that because the little ads add up. And I, right. I'm saying so, that. So when you started again, you were under PDT, right? Is that what you said? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, but I started out with like uh, three thousand, and then I would, on my paydays I'd add a couple of hundred here and there, and uh, I think all in all I'm in like about seventy three hundred dollars of my own money, and now I'm pushing ninety thousand. Whoa! So you grew from seven thousand to over ninety because last time I spoke to you, you were only at eighty. So good job. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, um, I actually have got my Cobra set up right now here on my other screens, and uh, I'm not using it yet. I'm, I'm, you know, my process tells me, you know, you got to go slow, make sure that you're comfortable. I've traded DOS for many years, and uh, I've got TZ right now, but on a, on a positive note, about since March, um, and what I've been able to build up. I'm over PDT now on TZ, and I'm over PDT now, which enabled me to open up my Cobra account, and I got a wow. nice I got a nice bankroll in my savings account. Knock on wood, my friend. Congratulations. I would I would yeah. clap, but I need the other hand to hold. So Thanks. so Thanks, this is all done not by gambling. This is like you were chipping at it every day. You're grinding. Yeah. You're grinding. Yeah, and every that, day. That's... Yes, and uh, one of the things uh, 
that I, I will point out though is um, I've got my process and uh, no offense, Bao, but I kind of follow Alex on his time frame rule. I want to be done by 1030 in the morning or I want to be done as soon as possible and just be done and stay yeah, away you from make, the market. You make your money and go. That's Same it, process. Man. That's it. And it's, and, it's and been working I, wonders. Right. And when I started back in March, that was, I, I mean, I watched Alex, you know, say, you know, just zombie, man, zombie rule. It's going to nip you in the bud if you don't get away. And yep. um, so I just kind of put that in my process that I will not trade uh, longer than uh, 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 1030. And, you know, and 1030. That, I'm not, that, I'm, dude, that, I'm telling you, man, the number one thing I keep telling everybody, the secret to trading longevity like this, two things discipline and risk management so you got the discipline down because it's very hard to leave but you've been doing this for so long where because you you're like me man we we have we've been through the crap and we don't never ever want to be back there again exactly okay? exactly and I, I have a confession to all the mic people and people that are watching out there is that today was a really good uh, day for me about and do you want to know why why is that because I lost seventy five dollars. <laughs> Dude, I, okay, so let's let's talk about that. Let's talk about. That. I love that because risk management. Because the fear, I'm telling you, James, this is always my fear for everybody. Is they make so much money, and they 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 think of that as the house money, cushion money, but it's not the house money. It's your money, man. Don't fucking piss that away. Keep your right. accounts very small, so that in your head it doesn't seem like it's excess money. Every day, I start out with zero dollars. I don't think about yesterday's gains or the previous year's gains, things like that. Otherwise, you will blow up. So let's talk through that trade. So the process of picking that trade and how you did it and how you're able to walk away with just a $75 loss, where some people go, I'm going to stay in until I hit my max loss. And that's just stupid. Right. Well, I, I happen to be one of these traders that I do trade pre-market, and I've had – uh, fairly good success at it. And uh, it's nail and bail. You got to know pre-market. You got to know what you're doing if you're going to mess around in pre-market. Uh, so I got out of pre-market with a small loss. So I said, okay, that's good. I'm done with that. I waited for the open and I got into, uh, it was a CTIB. Uh, it was under, it was under VWAP. I shorted the bounce all of a sudden a big green candle and then boom, a red candle. So I sat tight, right? Well, it didn't, it, it hit VWAP and kept going up, right? And so I waited and I waited and I waited and, and I saw it hitting some of the support lines, support resistant lines that I, I had already stocked. See, because when I trade a ticker, I start putting lines in from pre-market, man. The minute I wake up, I'm putting lines in. I want to see these support resistance lines. And so it ran up and I was in the hole, but then it showed me a big red candle and then another red candle. And then it just, it went down, it, it, it pretty much washed and I covered for a $75 loss. And Woo. I said, that's it. And uh, I, I was happy. That's, a, that's very good discipline, man, because you know what happens? A lot of times, you know, you, you cover for that type and then let's say that it goes in your favor more. A lot of people get greedy and they get, they do what it's called a makeup trade or revenge trade. Because right. they're like, if I had just hell, I'd be up so much. And that's how you get killed. Right. Well, you know, Bao, I, I, my hat is off to you because uh, there had been many uh, DMs that we've exchanged over time. And uh, you were the one that told me, James, you're greedy. You're a greedy bastard. That's what Joe Kelly says. You're a greedy <laughs> bastard. <laughs> Dude, I remember, and, man, and, because and, you, you, you were always up telling that story. It, it, you keep crying. Yeah. Like, Dude, that was up so much. And... Right, right. And Go ahead, uh, that, that is the, the truth. I used to uh, uh, DM Bao and I, I would tell him, I'm not getting this. I'm up on the day and I turn green days into red days. And he's saying it's because you're greedy. The market is saying, here you go, man. Here's money right here. I'm handing you this money. Why aren't you taking it? And then the light bulb went off for me or went on. And I thought, you know what? That's right. That's what I'm doing. And so I've worked so hard on my process to eliminate greed that I can see what the market has to offer. I don't get picky. I plan my exits. I plan my entries. And sometimes I'll even take, I'll take it before I even hit my target exit. I'll go, I don't need any more. Or I see what the charts are. I said, I'm out. I'm done. And I'll be that's, finished That's exactly with it. right. 
I rather cry. I keep telling people all the time. I rather cry about money left on the table than cry about actually losing real money. A lot of these people, they don't understand that. They're like, you know, I'm going for the home run. And then that's what happens. And then a lot of times they get zombied, right? So that's part of the thing too. You, you were probably like all of us getting zombied. <laughs> you know, you're up so much. You're like, how could I be down? This thing has broken under all these supports. How could I ever lose? Right. And then right. you turn around and then you get zombied. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that, that happened to me. Uh, I blew up an account, oh, probably about uh, 10 years ago. And I got caught in that algo thing, right? I was shorting a biotech stock and, and I kept adding and adding and adding. And if I had had MIC telling me, you are trading during zombie hours, you are short, you're going to lose. If I had just that little bit of knowledge back then, that would have saved me. And so anybody that's out there listening, when they talk about zombie rules, there is a really high percentage that if you are short, that stock's going to start basing. If you look at a one minute chart, that stock's going to start basing and start going against you. And I would advise that if nobody knows what basing is, look it up and look at a chart that shows you basing and to the upside and be aware because after 1030 you have no control yep another word is consolidation so it consolidates and then just zombies up um right well and, yeah yeah and that's that's the thing okay so you so there's two types of people and me and you're the same we have to experience getting kicked in the balls before we we <laughs> believe it <laughs> <laughs> you're like, there's no way. This zombie thing is fake. It's one off. It'll never happen to me. And then when we get kicked in the ball, not just once, we have to get kicked in the ball like three or four times before we believe that getting kicked in the ball sucks. <laughs> right. And hey, I will admit now, even with MIC, there have been times where I have traded past zombie hours, but I there's something in the chart that I'm seeing and I'm liking and I've lowered my stops. I'm way, way better than break even on the trade. I'm green on the trade. And if this thing wants to move against me, it's going to stop me out with a profit. And, but I don't do that on a regular basis. I want to be done within the first 30 minutes, seriously. And like James, uh, yep, that's James exactly Friedland, right. and like James Friedland uh, would tell me, he goes, if my lines don't hit within the first 30 minutes, I close the trade out. And I thought, man, I'm, that's conservative, right? But there's a lot that can happen between 10 and, and 1030, too. I mean, these stocks can teleport. You you just don't know. You just got to have those stops in place once your trade is uh, is active. That, that's exactly right, man. So, you, so that's another great thing you start doing. You're putting in stops, hard stops. And you yep. know what, man? If, if the stock is broken and you're short and it's past zombie hours, is you know, it's completely okay to start trade. I still be in it. You don't have to exit, like you said. Just start lowering your stops. So Absolutely, that it doesn't zombie on you. Right, right. What, what happens is the the fear is that this is the problem with um, trading zombie hours is not. It's it's because of the greed factor. Because what happens is this: because the moment the start the stock starts to go down, and you already taken off most of your gains, you're still in a little bit. In your back of your mind, you're like. I wish you'll bounce a little so you can get in more. <laughs> and then, and then you, I'm like, oh, so you're like, what the fuck happened? <laughs> it bounced too much. I wish I was never in it. <laughs> well, the thing too, the problem. right, Bao. And you know, the other, the other thing too is, um, you know, the, the, the metaphor, keep it simple, stupid, right? Just K-I-S-S. -S -S. <laughs> and yep. again, for these, for the people under PDT, I implore you to listen to Bao about greed because when you're up a hundred dollars and you can cover the cost of your locates and pocket 50, 60, $70. And if you can do that every day, you will not believe how fast your accounts will grow. But if you get greedy and you think you can make more than that $120 that you're looking at or whatever you're staring at and the stock goes against you and does something ridiculous, which is very, very uh, capable of doing, you can lose days, weeks, even months worth of gains with being having a small account and being under PDT. So this is this is great, man. Because you know what, people, it's very difficult trading under PDT, but it's not impossible. There, there are people that like yourself that have proven it. It's all based upon. It's like it's, it comes up to your discipline. It's like you realize after a while, you're not going to get rich overnight with a 
with a $7,000 $7, account. But imagine if you can consistently grow that $500 a day, you will become rich. Absolutely. Absolutely. And the, the thing that also, Bao, that is very important is what MIC teaches. You have to have a plan, guys. You got, you've got to get, I, I told this to one of, somebody DM'd me and he wanted a, a, a checklist of things to do to um, basically trade. And one of them, and don't be offended, guys, I said, you got to get your ass out of bed. That's what you <laughs> yeah. got to do. What time get, do you wake up? Uh, I was up at uh, I was up at ten minutes after two here in California this morning. Two a.m. You're up yep. earlier than me. Oh man! And yep. that's why you're getting in on these. That's your edge. You're getting on these crazy pre-market super highs. Well, I, I try to be the you know the early bird, but uh, you know I uh, I it's I, the holy grail for me is you know paying the least amount possible for locates. Oh, yeah, and, man. By the time I wake up, it's already like three times more expensive. <laughs> yeah. And, and so uh, I, uh, I, I, I can't say it enough that you can't wake up an hour before the market opens. And then it's not to say that you can't do well, but you, it's crunch time. If you've got to get up an hour before the open, you've got to read through main chat. You've got to check after hours because somebody might be saying something there. You've got to go to... Uh, Finviz, you've got to go to BAMSEC, you've got to go to big charts, you've got to go, you got to, so much to do. Look at your scanners. Yep. You're, you know, you're, put, you're putting yourself behind by being, pardon me guys, by being lazy asses. Dude, that's exactly right, man. Because there's a saying I always, I love, um, hard work beats talent when talent does not work hard. Hard work beats talent when talent does not, uh, be, when talent does not work hard. James is getting up earlier than all of us, doing his research. By the time seven, by the time I wake up, by the time whoever wakes up, he's already got his master plan. That, that's the key. Exactly. So I, I used to, I used to wake up at at four a.m. in California, and that wasn't early enough. Now I'm, I'm training my body to wake up early, so I begin up at three thirty, and just that extra half hour, James, is making a phenomenal difference because I can get the locates I want. I can do the extra research and help the group. So it's exactly right, guys. You, you, if you guys don't think you're talented, the equalizer in life is hard work. Work your fucking ass off. And that's what James did. That's why I did. You know, that, that's the equalizer in life. You can be the most talented guy in the world, but if you don't work hard, you're not going to be successful. So that's another thing. Really trading. Because you, I, I, yeah, well, especially in trading, because yeah. you know what? Trading takes no prisoners, you guys. It's you against the market. And, um, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's a challenge, but MIC provides the materials for you to meet this enemy freaking head on. And you got a really good chance of not beating the market per se, but you got a really good chance on a daily basis to make your daily pay, right, Bao? Make your daily yep. pay. <laughs> and it's, uh, and right now you're making your, uh, Monthly pay one day, <laughs> knock on wood. <laughs> but you know, well, yeah. the, the point is, it's the process. You know, it's like people say, I want to make X dollars. I mean, dude, what is X dollars? You want to have a process, and the process is going to spit out whatever gains that it spits out, you know? And so, let me ask you this, James. Uh, quickly, tell, tell me your, because right now, you, you know, you, you've been up this year very great. And I don't want ever, ever again to repeat what happened where. We make a stupid mistake, and then we give up so much of our hard work, right? So right. what have you done in terms of risk management to ensure that you will never go back to that dark space time again? Well, the one, the one main thing is that you have to establish your max daily loss and then – or your max loss and then your daily your, – your max daily loss. Uh, you have to live by the religion – guys that hard stops are going to save your lives if you when you execute a trade if you do not put that hard stop in you are basically saying you're throwing your fate to the wind because like a black swan event like bow just discussed it could happen at any moment it can happen in pre market it can happen during market time it can happen after hours I, it, it just can happen you've got to protect yourself 
uh, at all times. And if you don't know the rules, for example, about pre-market trading, there are no hard stops out. And in after hours trading, there are no hard stops allowed. The, the liquidity is not like it is during market hours. If you don't know those things are going on, you have no business being in that environment trading. So look what James did, guys. He started with a small account. By, by doing a small account, he started with small size. So he's leveling up along the way. It's not like he just opened a big account from day one. So the guys are under PDT. This is what you got to consider. If, if you had a lot of money, you would probably lose all your money. I, I swear, that's what happened. When I started trading, I, I had a good job. So I put in a lot of money. I lost it right away. So what happened is this. So James started with a small account, which made him very conservative, very selective, very good discipline to get to the next level. So now when he's up at the next level, he has good habits. So the, be very careful about developing bad habits. Whereas you, for example, breaking a rule and getting rewarded for it, it's the worst thing you can do. If you get that three times in a row, I guarantee you, that bad habit is now your new habit. You know? Yeah, so don't even get to that game. So and that's why people blow up. Because you know what? They got away with it so many times. Absolutely. So that's why. Go ahead, Tim. And you know, Bob, the other thing, too, is uh, uh, and we talk so much about it at MIC, is your process. And uh, I'll just give you an example. If Well, if you sit down, and I've talked with my other tabs about this. And by the way, guys, get a tab. All right? Everybody needs a tab. And you need people to talk to and to exchange ideas with and to get positive reinforcement and sometimes negativity from. You need that to, you can't trade alone. Trading alone is a very, uh, it's just uh, not a very rewarding experience. Even with MIC, if you're trading by yourself, talk to somebody. I've even got one of my tabs now calling me on the phone. And I think that is freaking awesome because we match up. We're, we're both talented trader, not talented, but I mean, we're successful to some extent. So I, I highly recommend that. But the other thing I was going to say is that uh, this is what MIC talks about, that everybody needs to, uh, gra to get a grasp on. And that is process. What, what is your process? I recommend you sit down with a note pad, a legal pad, whatever you got, and write the word process right across the top of that thing and start from one to however, however many numbers you can put down. What does your process consist of? As an example, my process consists of getting up early, right? And the more you think about it, this process will begin to start laying out your own personal rules, the rules which you have learned to trade by. And for me, my process is like this. I get up really early, I do my thing early in the morning, and I'm done way before 10, 30, 99% of the time. But we discussed this, I discussed this with my tab, and it is this, if the longer you You are in a trade the most where there did I go away? Yeah, we're good. So okay, I don't cool. know if they so the process it also starts the day before. Because absolutely you can't get up early if, if you go sleep late. Right. So people, right. so start your process the day before you trade. Right. And you know, one of the other things I do, Bao, I, I never forget my process. I think about it uh, regularly. I think about my rules regularly and it just keeps me, it reminds me of my trading habits. 
And, you know, I'm today going out for a hammer or something like that. And I think about my process like, oh, I don't trade anymore past 1030. Or um, uh, I get up early so I can get some good locates. So all, you write process down on your piece of paper paper, write your trading rules down, and that will begin to establish your process. That's how I do it. And as I mentioned earlier, if the longer you stay in a trade, the more your rules start coming into focus. And those for me are variables that may not be in my favor. That's why I like to trade quick and early and be done because there's less rules that come into play. I don't right. have to think about the zombie rule when I'm just and when I'm in and out of the trade in the first 30 minutes. I don't have to worry about that, and it works for me. Correct. Well, thanks, James. This is awesome. Hey, one note though: we told me uh, don't make you so famous now where he loses you as a tap. You're too busy. So, guys, be very gentle with JJ. Maybe we can have um, a video or something that you can make if you have time. You know, um, it, it would help a lot of people. Whenever you have time, this will help you maybe during the zombie hour when you're just sitting there with nothing to do. But um, I appreciate this, James. I'm, I'm, I am yeah, so man. happy for your progress, man. And, man, this is this is gold. I, I love it. Hard stops, guys. Hard stops, max daily loss. Boom. This is it. That's, that's the, that is the holy grail right there. Consistent every day. When, if you stick to your process and you lose, it's okay. Like James says, it's a winning day. He stuck to his process and he yeah. took a small manual loss. Right. You I'm know? down seventy five bucks. I'm down seventy five bucks and I'm gonna go have a steak dinner tonight if I feel like how, it. how much did you make yesterday though? Yesterday I made four thousand three hundred. There we go, my friend. You made oh, and I sold back <laughs> my locates. I sold back my locates too. <laughs> Great. Man, I, I thank you very much, guys. We'll we'll see you in the room and okay. I appreciate it. Thanks, James. Anytime, guys. guys. Hey, MIC, you guys, you guys are great. Text Tosh, study guys. And listen, and listen to your mods. They know what they're doing. Text Tosh, guys, for more information. I'll see you guys later.